Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we'll be upgrading the good old Shermie boy with a brand new motor, with a wider rim, with shorter L hangers, making the clearance of the pedals higher, a new software, and the new waterproof display cover. So, let me tell you more about it. Now let me give you a little bit of background to why I'm doing this. First of all, after 3,600 kilometers, uh, the bearings on my Sherman were broken or some dust got inside and I had to replace them. And my email contacted a uh, veteran or Leaper Kim and they were gracious enough to send me for free a new motor and the cover, the L hangers and the new software. So that's really cool. In the meantime though, I did locally repair the Sherman by changing the bearings to stainless steel ones and now it rides fine. And actually I also didn't have any issues with the cover here on the top. Although I was riding the Sherman also in rain and in snow. So do I really need to do this? Probably not. And I also didn't have much trouble with the tire alignment. It did just slightly wobble from side to side, but nothing really major. So um, there aren't really any issues for me to do this. However, I am very curious how it rides with the wider rim. And I'm also very curious how it rides with the shorter L hangers because scraping pedals and a not too good turning radius, also at high speeds, is uh, something that bothers me a little on the Sherman. I also do like the new look of this cover which has like these blackout buttons they look pretty cool so i want to install that as well and naturally i want to be also up to date with the newest firmware so i want to do that as well which probably won't be that easy since the bluetooth module on my sherman is uh, quite stuck anyways these are the reasons why i want to do this swap and i also want to tell you guys what the newest batch because this will be sort of the newest batch with these updates of the sherman rides like. So let's start disassembling the Shirmy Boy. And there is already a teardown of the Sherman on the channel so I won't make this too long. However I want to show you the process a little bit and also show you up close the changes uh, in terms of the rim and the hangers. So in order to do this swap, I had to do really a lot. I had to remove the display and the beeper from the cover. I had to remove the screws holding the L hangers to uh, the shell together. I had to remove the roll cage, the Bluetooth module and replace it with the update module. Disconnect the batteries, disconnect all the motor wiring and take out the old motor, remove the tire, remove the tube and then swap it and put it on the new motor. A big tip here, make sure you use some soap or some uh, powder, then it's way easier to take off the tire from the rim. Here you can see both motors side by side, mine being the batch one edition, also the L hangers. And you can see that the difference is huge and the wider rim will allow the tire to sit better in the rim as the Sherman's motorcycle tire should sit in a wider rim. It will also be sturdier and more, more robust. And also just as a side note, all the newest Sherman's will come with this new motor. I managed to assemble the Shermie Boyd quite quickly and I right away wanted to go out for a ride. Or at least I wanted to because I heard that this valve is hitting somewhere in the body and I'm very um, idiotically, I would say, turned it too much to the side and I broke the valve. I will need <laughs> <laughs> Open it up again and change the inner tube. Ah! The situation seemed hopeless as I didn't have a spare. But luckily I hit up uh, Konrad, a fellow rider, and he saved me with his spare tube for the Sherman. My savior. 
and after disassembling and reassembling it again, we took it out for a spin. And here we are, finally after a full day of struggles, partially also to my fault, we are riding the Sherman with the upgraded paddle hangers. And boy oh boy, does this feel different. <laughs> and thanks for sticking by even though it's night time. I know that's not the best uh, time for doing a video shoot with the GoPro, but I don't really have time tomorrow to do that. So that's why we are doing it today. Oh man, Sherman feels so different now. Like I thought it was just a small upgrade, but I can take turns now way sharper. See here already I uh, clipped a bit, but I wouldn't be able to do any of that with the old uh, uh, hangers. Now, I, know, I don't know how it will look like over an extended period of time, obviously. Uh, I'll have to, you know, you'll have to wait for the, I don't know, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 kilometer review. Right now I have 4,000 kilometers on it. But for now, this feels pretty dope. Feels maybe just a tad less zippy because obviously the pedals are now higher off the ground, but doing 860 now, this feels so much better, man. And the tire also is way better aligned now. Like I don't get these vibrations as I was getting before. It's planted as hell. <laughs> wow. It's pretty big of an upgrade, I gotta tell you guys. It's so smooth now. And this is the same tire that I used before that wasn't misaligned. Now, I could have expected that because it's, you know, 30% wider in the rim now from four centimeters to six, but this feels a lot different. And now let's see how I can make a turn. Wee! Oh yeah, it's a lot better. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing I guess I was missing on the Sherman quite a bit, like the turning. Still not like, uh, you know, tire like the EX has or MSP. They give you this different sort of response. Maybe I'll also try different tires on the Sherman. But I like this tire. It's the most universal one. Maybe it doesn't give you like the most amount of fun and turns and stuff, but it sure is great for mud and all the terrain. Oh, look, Honda E. Ian from Speedy Feet has one like that. Oh, this feels so much better. Also for off-road riding, this will feel so much better. But we're to find out, I guess. Time to put the goggles down. <laughs> Otherwise I won't hear the speed beeper. Yeah, and stable as always. Seventy now. Oh, it's so good. I'm loving it. I didn't know the Sherman could get so much better, but apparently it can. All the time 70 now. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Maybe we won't have 
green light. Now we can turn around. Whee! Oh, yes. <laughs> Turning right is so much better. Still have the pedal dip, which is quite annoying. The newer Bigotti wheels have a bit of less of that. But still, I think it's also partly firmware 10.6 that I'm feeling right now. Feels good, but it doesn't feel like it got way yet. It doesn't feel as torque. However, turning radius, ah, oh, much better. I would have, if I scratched my pedals like that before, I'd be down, man, I'd be down. Yeah, so I guess this is a pretty good upgrade. And if you do have the means for it, then you should go for it probably to get the wider rim on the Sherman. So if you're still here, leave a like on the video. I'm meeting up with the squad. See you in the next video. See you soon.